Mr. Ewald decides to make and sell left-hand smoke shifters as a side business. The function below gives the average cost in dollars per smoke shifter when X smoke shifters are produced. So we're given the average cost function and we're asked to answer several questions. We first want to determine A of 12 and complete the sentence explaining the meaning of this answer. And we're asked to round to the nearest cent. So to evaluate A of 12, we substitute 12 for X, so we would have 6 times 12 plus 125 divided by 12. So this would give us 72 plus 125 divided by 12. 72 plus 125 is 197, so we have 197 divided by 12. And now we'll get our decimal approximation on the calculator. 197 divided by 12 to the nearest cent would be approximately $16.42. So the average cost to produce 12 Latin smoke shifters is, again, $16.42. Next we're asked, how many smoke shifters must be produced in order to reduce the average cost to $11 each? So now we're given the average cost, or A of X, equals 11. We want to find the input of the number of smoke shifters that must be produced. So now we'll substitute 11 for A of X and solve for X. So we'd have the equation 11 equals the quantity 6X plus 125 divided by X. So to solve this rational equation, the first step would be to clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by x. Notice on the left side we have 11x equals, on the right side, notice x over x simplifies to 1. So we have 6x plus 125. So we'd subtract 6x on both sides to solve for x. So we have 5x equals, this would be zero, so 5x equals 125, and dividing both sides by five, we get x equals 125 divided by five, which equals 25. Which means, to reduce the average cost to produce each smoke shifter to $11, 25 smoke shifters must be produced. Of course, this should be $11. Now we have one more question. We want to find the equation of the horizontal asymptote of A of X. A horizontal asymptote is a horizontal line that our function will approach as X increases or decreases without bound. So looking at the graph of A of X shown below, notice as X increases without bound, or approaches positive infinity in this direction, the function values approach this red horizontal line. So our goal here is to find the equation of this red horizontal line. We don't need to consider as x decreases without bound because we know x can't be negative because x is a number of smoke shifters. And there are several ways to determine the equation of this horizontal asymptote. One way is graphically, but it's hard to determine where this intersects the vertical axis. So let's use the table feature on the graphing calculator to help us. So to do this, the first step is to enter our function into y1. So if we press y equals, we want to enter our function in y1. So we'd have open parenthesis 6x plus 125, close parenthesis, divided by x. And now we're going to use a table, but before we do that, let's press second window for table set, and let's change the independent variable to ask. So we'll highlight ask and press enter, and now we'll go to the table of values by pressing second graph. And now we can type in any value that we want, but remember our goal here is to determine what function value we're approaching as x increases without bound or approaches infinity. So let's enter x equals 100, then 1,000, then 10,000, and notice how we can tell that the function value is approaching six. Let's try 100,000. Of course, we could keep going, but I think we can see that the function value is approaching six, 
and therefore the equation of this horizontal line is a of x equals six, or if we want y equals six. So the equation of this horizontal asymptote is a of x equals six. But again, I think in our homework system, since a of x equals y, they want us to enter y equals six. The other way to determine the horizontal asymptote is to analyze the function. We can determine the equation of the horizontal asymptote by analyzing the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice in this case, the numerator is degree one and so is the denominator. When the degrees are the same, the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients, which in this case would be six divided by one or six. If the degree of the numerator is higher, there is no horizontal asymptote. If the degree of the denominator is higher, the equation of the horizontal asymptote is a of x or y equals zero. Now let's talk about what this means. This means that as the number of smoke shifters produced increases without bound or approaches infinity, the average cost approaches six dollars. So as the number of smoke shifters produced increases without bound or approaches infinity, the average cost approaches six dollars. Again, I think our homework system may say approaches infinity, but increasing without bound means the same thing. I hope you found this helpful.